what's going on, Traders? It's your boy Marv the Man, the Myth Professor, back at it with another one, man. Ah, un. Uh, let me say it this way: disappointing Tuesday. Let me go ahead and show you why. Let's jump right into it. Let's not waste no time. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. The first stock that I traded today was IFRX. Let me go ahead and pull that. All right, so here we go. Here's IFRX. Game plan stock is moving on news of going in phase three trial of COVID inducing some some kind of COVID stuff, so like that. Basically, I you know I thought that this area could have been attempted, but I wouldn't because it would it opened too close. And essentially, what I was waiting for then, you know me, if the if the pre market plays not there, then I fall back to the MA. MA was here, okay. And I got in at 570. Um, okay, so I, let me go ahead and go three minutes. I got got in right here, 570 fill, and I got actually out here, which was in the like 90s, if I recall correctly. So it was it was a quick like maybe like four percent play. Uh, that was cool. This was I love these ones because I love when it gets in on it. See, this line is where my price was. I love when the candle that gets me in bounces immediately. Um, all right, you know what? Parenthood is calling me. Let me pause this video. I gotta go clean my son. You just go up to it. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I had to pause it. <laughs> Take care of my son. Let me get back to the screen. I forgot what I was saying. I think I was saying I got in here. It bounced really quick. Very happy with that. Got out here. It came back, gave us an opportunity, and really bounced. Um, but bottom line is, I was in and out. I got what I was looking for, and I was happy. You know, I, I stick to my script. Okay? I don't really switch up at all. Okay, so next, don't talk is LXRX. Share my screen. This is where the disappointment began to to set in because this is another MA play. Look at this. I basically said I'm gonna play it off MA. God, this is picture perfect in regards to falling too. But it sucked that it was so weak. It was so weak. didn't do anything. Let's look at this on a three minute time frame. Okay, so here's my candle. Here's my line that I got in. I got in at 255. Okay, so this is the candle that brings me in. So I essentially, this is a classic example of just cutting a loss and, and not hoping as a strategy. Okay, I got in here. It dropped way further down than I was looking for. Okay. And I'm okay with this right here, as long as this next candle bounces, right? I wait to the next candle. The can the next candle shows that it can't do it anymore. Okay, so now basically, I'm looking. I I, I see this candle ends. It was kind of floating here. I have two stops at this point. My first stop is if this thing drops lower than this candle, the club the lower this candle, I'm just out. I, I I'll take it. Okay, it's all good. I'll take the L. Or if it starts to fight back up, then I want to get out up here in, you know, anywhere in, in 250s. Normally, I would try to get, you know, 254, 253, but just get me out in the 250s and I'm happy. But problem was, look what it did. It sold off more. So when it dropped more, I went on ahead and I put in my limit order for the low of this candle. It did come back and let me out of the low of that candle. And then, you know, I just moved on with it. And so sometimes, uh, again, this is my, you know, I, I stick to my strategy. If, if that second candle in that three minute time frame from my entry is lower than what I entered, like, I, I'm good. I already know I've seen enough of these to know probably ain't going to work out for me. So, you know, listen, hope's not a strategy. I talk to this, I'll say this all the time. Uh, I got a trading partner. I, we were talking about this this morning. Hope is not a strategy. We both got caught in that stock. It just didn't work out. So what? Let me tell you what, what I've seen, what I've done, not what I've seen, what I've done. When I used to hope that it was going to come back around. Now, look, it did try to bounce. But look, this thing at the end of the day ended at 208. It could have went straight away from here and then got even worse. I've seen that. Let me go to the 15 minute time frame. OK, I've seen this before. It could have went all the way down here and then some. OK, there, there's no rule or no law that says it can't just sell off. So don't be hoping. Just just play what happened. This is what happened. The reality is this, this one didn't work out. I'd rather cut here. OK, in this range, get get popped here than get popped down here. OK, I, that's just me. Cut losses quickly. And that was still a bigger loss than I would have liked. But in the past, 
I would have been hoping and I would have been getting out way down here feeling sorry for myself. Okay, no, not going to happen. Not going to happen. So the next stock we're going to talk about that actually brought some 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 more promise to the day was Verb, V-E-R-B, <laughs> until they hit me with the curveball. Okay, so here's Verb. I just basically was waiting for this to hit the um, hit the MA, the 20 MA, right? And so I um, I I put an order in right here, 155. Let's go to the three minute time frame. Uh, there we go. I had put an order right here. Here's my where's my 155 right here. 155. Picture perfect. Picture. This is what you dream about. Boom. I didn't have to wait. Thing shot off immediately, ran back up. One curveball problem. I only got 200 shares, <laughs> so I didn't get a full fill. So, you know, this is a great trade that I only got a partial fill. I, I almost like, why the hell did you even give me? It's like it's like going to In-N-Out, ordering a number three, and they just gave you five fries. Like, what the fuck? What where is my meal at, bro? That's how I felt. <laughs> I was sorry. So what could have really, you know, flip things back to at least balanced, you know, did not happen. And then the last stock I'm gonna talk about that I traded was O N T X. Let me go ahead and share the screen. And this one I lost on. Um so for me overall it was a losing day. Um but look it, it was an MA play again, and it came into the MA, and, and the three minute is going to tell the tale. I got in at 134. I was very happy. I knew that it was going to be a tight play. I knew that that it had the, uh, the promise to bounce where I wanted it to. This is the candle I got in on. No problem, okay? This is the second candle. This is where I make my decision, okay? And I, the decision was if it drops lower than this, I'm out, Okay? It was fighting, it was fighting, and then from like here, the the interesting thing that it, it dropped, it was almost like a gap, it dropped from here down to 25, to 26, I mean, right there. And so I immediately put a limit order in to get out at 30, I think I got out at 30, 30 or 31, and then it started fighting back, and you know, normally, not normally, I could convince myself, or I can start hoping, hey, it might do it, but once it shows me this, I'm good. I, I've seen this right here. See this move? And then it bounced. I've seen just take this part out and just all the way down. I've seen that. And so I'm playing to protect my from that because that's a massive loss. And there's no need to take a massive loss. Sometimes you just got it. Like if you if you golf, okay? If you golf, you know, sometimes you get a bad shot over it, you know, behind a tree, and, and instead of trying to be uh, Tiger Woods, which you are not, right, um, you you know, instead of trying to be him, you, you, you're you going to try to do some fancy stuff, all you got to do is just take your medicine and hit it back out to the fairway. It's all good. You'll live to play the next hole. And so essentially, you know, I've seen guys ruin accounts simply because they wouldn't take their medicine. I've ruined accounts because I wouldn't take my med. I've been trading for, for almost 10 years. Man, trust me. It took me a years to just finally just settle into a place where I knew I was able to do everything I'm able to do. I'm very comfortable. I'm very confident in my strategy. And it works. It, it, I, I mean, I got that. I, I got everything to back up. I got the profits to back it up. I got the data, the charts to back it up. I know what the hell I'm doing. And so some days you just you you're just gonna you know shit, some days you're gonna strike out four times even though you won the home run derby last week you, you just gonna strike out sometimes that's just that's how it worked and it's unfortunate because had I would got that other verb play things would have been cooler it would have washed it would have been a wash day but it didn't work out for me like that and it's all good you guys have seen me here and what do I say I'll be here tomorrow and just watch I'm gonna do the same thing over and over again because my data tells me that I will win at anywhere between 74 and 90 percent depending on the play that's what my data tells me that's why I ain't got to worry about oh what's been, just hey this was a bad day we'll be here tomorrow everything will, will, will ebb back to how it's supposed to be this is just the ebbs and flow of trading this is life okay all right with that said i'll be here tomorrow we're gonna get after him tomorrow i ain't worried about nothing we're gonna have a winning day and we're gonna leave it at that all right i'll see you tomorrow on the uh, breakdown